Hello there, good evening, and welcome, of course, to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean Ryan. I've been presenting the show, must be close to 11 years now. Love our Mondays at 8, and tonight we've got so many special offers for you. A lot of them, I will say, there's, there's quite a few little extras that will come to a close in the next few days. We will tell you about those. Um, We've got our fantastic Justin back with us. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, good to, good to be back. <laughs> we've got a really good show, actually, haven't we? I tell, just having a look through tonight, we've got Pound Deposits of Royal, and, and I'm telling you now that there's a prize draw with that as well. Cruise and Maritime, Moira's here. It's one of the lowest prices, and it's just been released. And uh, a great single price as well. Mm. Um, so for all of our single ladies and gents, stay watching. We've got amazing single deals on that. What else have we got, Justin? Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line, your favourite tagline, premium. Premium all inclusive. Oh, yes. He loves it. He loves oh, I feel good already. Oh, also, yeah. no supplements on London, Manchester, and Glasgow flights on that deal. Fab. Celebrity, one of the best deals that I've seen in a long time. We've got exclusive Black Friday discounts from Celebrity. And tonight, if you're spending over £1,599 on your booking, you will also receive a hundred pounds per person discount as well. So ask wow. your cruise specialist when uh, when you so book. So just to clarify, if you're spending £1,599 per person, yep. you'll get £100 off per person. Wow. But it depends on what grade of cabin that you're going for, so it's always best yeah. to speak to a cruise specialist. Celestial, you know Celestial, <gasps> one of the best-selling cruise lines that we've had on Planet Cruise on a Tuesday night. Not only are they back, but they've also got a brand new itinerary to take in, wait for it, Istanbul and Troy. So you can go to some of the wow. most historic sites and Princess tonight, Singapore, including a tour and three nights in a hotel in Singapore for just over £115. Now, per just, you're looking slim. Were you on that exercise bike that we had last week? Have you been <laughs> no, on that? But fun, funnily what? enough, the bike, the e-bike that we had from last week... Um, oh, it there's was, a, that fold oh, sorry, the fold yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I'm not here for a week and it all goes to pot. Um, but we get, we were giving one away, and thanks to, um, to uh, Ideal World as well for supplying the bike. Check out their website if you missed out on it. Um, then uh, there's an e-life bike that was up for grabs, and the winner of that was Derek Innall. So uh, oh. congrats. we've already spoke to Derek, we but uh, I believe he's watching tonight. So well done, Derek, for taking part. And if, if you missed out on the bike, um, then check out Ideal World's website and you can see whether, how you can get hold of one um, on there. But we've, we've got things to give away as well. We've got, we've got prize draws, I should say. But we also have got this to show you. And uh, it's a chance to win a seven-night river cruise for two along the Rhine, and all you need to do to be in with the chance is register now at planetcruise.com forward slash en. So, yeah, it's worth a go, isn't it? Someone's yeah, got to win oh, it. definitely. Just, just register online. Uh, and one other thing that we're doing tonight as well, I'll just give you a little bit of background. The Planet Cruise, or one of the actual offices, is based down in Portsmouth. Um, now, I know the area quite well myself because I used to live on Hayling Island for about 18 months. But every booking tonight will take a pound uh, from that and donate that to the Portsmouth Hospital. So uh, just bear that in mind. And that's actually some of the Planet Crew staff there who went to visit some of the patients in uh, the, uh, the Pompey Hospitals. Great. So hopefully, I think we're going to have a very busy show. So the more cruises that you book, the more money that we can uh, actually donate, which is fabulous. Um, there's one bit of big cruise news we haven't mentioned. Yeah. Big, big cruise news. Oh, I'm looking at this right now. Uh, <laughs> One of your favourite cruise lines. <laughs> it's celebrity. What, what could be the biggest cruise news with celebrity, do you think? Uh, what, another new ship? Could be. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for um, that one. But we are going to begin uh, with a fabulous cruise. Uh, do you know, was, um, I always get a warm spot when I mention the words, <laughs> don't be uh, Royal Caribbean because it was my first cruise almost 10 years ago. I, I, was, I was turning 40, and I was really about it, and I thought, what do I want to do on my 40th? I thought, I want to escape, and I actually booked my first cruise with Royal Caribbean, and I never looked back. I've actually booked uh, about 27 since then. I've been very lucky. But, um, yeah, still love Royal Caribbean, and we've got an amazing cruise. We ran out of You've the You've got your deposit there as well, haven't you? Oh, is, oh yeah. Yeah. Look at this. He's yeah. brought his deposit already. <laughs> I keep forgetting. So it is, it is, isn't it? It's just yep. a pound just per a person. Pound per person. If there's two of you, you'll have to find two pounds on your credit or debit card. But I found me for four pounds, but it is a pound per person deposit tonight as well. And the price is standing at under six hundred pounds. And on board one of my favourite ships, one of your favourite ships of all time, the Independence of the Seas. Let's take you on board. 
Independence of the Seas, voted the best ship sailing from Southampton, will be even more extraordinary after her amazing multi-million pound makeover. Kids of all ages will love the ship's stunning features. Two wild water slides, splash away bay water park, an exciting escape room and a trampoline bungee dome. There are loads of fantastic additions here on Independence of the Seas. One of these are the children's water park, Splash Away Bay. Kids won't want to leave the park which boasts pools, water slides, water cannons, a jungle gym and that infamous drench bucket. As well as this, the incredible sky pad will thrill guests of all ages. This is a complex of four trampolines which can either be enjoyed as they are or while wearing a virtual reality headset which will transport you to unique adventures. Other features you can enjoy while on board are the ice rink at sea and full-size basketball court. You can also take part with one of Royal Caribbean's most popular features, the Flow Rider Surf Simulator. As you sail the waves, you can also surf them too. There's the vertigo you get when you go on the climbing wall or even enjoy some popcorn with the outdoor cinema. There's so much to do. Also, another great thing is the new addition of Fish and Ships. Don't forget Johnny Rockets, Giovanni's Table and Shop's Grill as they are always dishing out the deliciousness. Also, if you've got a sweet tooth, then check out the Sugar Candy and Ice Cream Store. As you can see, my family loved it and my daughter Brooke was never out of the store. She definitely has got that sweet tooth. I tell you, there are so many amazing things to do. Just the sweet the shop. I'd just, be, I'd just love that. I love the fish and, <laughs> I love the fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, you will never ever be bored with Royal Caribbean. This is something you've ever been great, obviously, for families and extended families, but great for couples as well, you know. Um, and just looking here, um, to be able to reserve this tonight and book it for just a pound per deposit you know, per person is incredible. But there's a few places I've not been to here. So we're going to cruise yep. out of Southampton, aren't we, Justin? Yeah, so great. Nice if, you, easy. If, if you don't like flying off, you can't fly, then it's yeah. going to be perfect. And it's just one day at sea to, I mean, really immerse yourself in that fantastic ship. Before we go into Germany, we're going to Hamburg. Now, this particular port is absolutely stunning. I love the... See, the th this is one I've never been to, Justin. So. Th it's brilliant. You've, you've got the inland lake that you can do a cruise on. Um, that's the, not the inland lake. It's part of it. But over in the background, you can see uh, that you've got actually one of the largest dry docks. Now, some of the, if, you, if you're really into cruise ships, you'll see some cruise ships being refitted yeah, in I'd there. Love to, I'd love to see that. The town hall's absolutely beautiful, and there's so much you can do. You've got the St. Pauli district, you've got the Reaper Barn, you've got the Beatles uh, tours that you can do here because of the history um, with the Beatles. Um, so plenty to see and do in Hamburg, and also just some fantastic beer and German food which always goes down well. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. I know I'm thinking Christmas uh, and Christmas markets. This is actually in May, but I'm sure there'll be a, a little brat burst or a brat burst, oh, right. cheeky little, or maybe even curry burst. <laughs> may, maybe even all of them uh, washed down with a fantastic beer. Anyway, um, then we've got a relaxing day at sea, and then we are into Oslo. Now, th this, yeah, it is somewhere, th th this itinerary is not your everyday one. Really striking architecture because you've got new versus old. You've got a beautiful park here that is just full of sculptures. Some of the most unusual sculptures that you'll see. There's actually a, um, almost like an obelisk, and it's actually all bodies. Actually, when you get close to it, you actually realise that it's it's bodies oh. all, all in, in an obelisk. So uh, yeah, quite quite nice. There's also the National Gallery here. Can you remember Edvard Munch? The I can scream. scream. Yeah, we were. Did the they get stolen? Yeah. Yes. And do you know what the funny thing is? I don't know whether he's watching tonight, but there was a cruise director, John, who I was working with at the time, and we were actually in the port, and they shut the port because every, everywhere out of Norway and, and, and the surrounding areas was close because they were worried that somebody was going to take the painting when it was stolen. And uh, let, let's just say we had a memorable night on board the ship for a is. little bit of a stunt that we pulled. Um, it didn't go the way we wanted. I'll tell you later on. Um, anyway, um, I digress. Nice relaxing day at the sea, and then we're into Bruges. Ah, oh, Bruges is just a classic port, a great day out. It's one oh. of those places that you could go for a weekend and just about fill it, but for the day, it's perfect. There is chocolate shops. There is 125 breweries. Bear in mind, Belgium brews some of the best beers um, in the world. Um, also, uh, canal cruises. So if you haven't had enough of a big ship, go on a small ship, and you literally, it's almost as if you want to lean back. You're like, We're gonna, you know, we can't go under that bridge. Oh, yeah, you can. Um, and, but and, absolutely beautiful. And if you love chocolate, you can buy chocolate anything oh, and everything, can't you? You really can. <laughs> He's got the devil in him tonight. <laughs> 
dearie me. Must must be something in the Listen, water or your age. Go to Bruges, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, and then, Back I just haven't said that, you're in the port of Zeebrugge, which is also nice, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah very true, very true. So uh, you can do plenty um, uh, and then back to Southampton. Yeah. That rounds it up. Bear in mind, apart from um, apart from all the fantastic things that we've just told you, if you uh, book a cruise on this particular itinerary tonight, you'll be entered into a free prize draw. We've got a fantastic goodie bag Ooh, from Royal Caribbean. Yeah. Um, some patch, some notebooks there, some uh, um, smartphone covers, um, some chargers as well. So all of that included, um, all from yes. Planet Cruise so, and courtesy of Royal Caribbean. So you'll be entered. Yeah, I love a goodie bag, but yes, you'll be entered goodie into bag. a prize draw to actually, you know, potentially win one of those. I'm sure there's more things here. You've not taken any, have you? Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'll check your handbag later. <laughs> Deary me. There's great stuff for that, seriously. Uh, let's just have a look at this amazing ship, the Independence of the Seas. Um, and, and Justin, she has been re recently revitalising things as well, hasn't she? Yeah, I mean, to, to, not, to start with all Royal Caribbean ships, they are absolutely first class. But, you know, all of the stuff that you've got on there, the, you know, the, the, the restaurants for the kids, the aqua parks, um, it is just superb. I love the fact that now updated, they've got the cupcake covered um, as well. Easy for me to say. There's yeah. vintage bars there and, as well now. Um, the virtual balconies I was looking at there oh, as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. And then that, was, that was an innovation that they brought in. Um, so uh, it's just an absolute star. Stunning shit. You've got the rock climbing wall you saw earlier on. The suites are just beautiful. So, Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so, a pound deposit per person. Family of four, don't forget, at 1799. So, let's just recap what's included. Now, all bookings, as mentioned, will be entered into Prize Draw to win a Royal Caribbean goodie bag. Um, deposit tonight, I keep mentioning it, a pound per person. That is it, to secure your place on board. Great family four price. And um, if ever you're cruising out of Southampton, we've got a really great relationship with the Holiday Inn in Winchester. Uh, you can stay there the night before from just uh, £95 per person, and that will give you your breakfast, parking, and your port transfers as well. And um, so the price is starting at the £600 for the 18th of May 2019. Um, but loads still to come on the show. Uh, I should mention, by the show, new to the show, you can give us a call right now on 0808-2502-662. Phone lines open, is it 10 o'clock tonight? Yes. 10 o'clock tonight, first thing tomorrow morning. And all of the details on planetcruise.com. But the next cruise is very very special it's with cruise and maritime the price is amazing and i'm very happy do you know the amount of emails that we get from single ladies and gents and you want to know when we've got single deals this has got the most amazing single cabins starting at 749 and moira is back on the sofa Hello. feels a while since we've seen you actually it does you're off cruising when i was here i think last it was, time. <laughs> it was. So good excuse though, isn't it but it is absolutely. lovely to have you lovely back to see you. Um, whenever you are with us we always get a huge amount of bookings with cruise and maritime. I always, you always offer amazing value though don't you we are we're all about value and I think that's why we are doing so well. We're now Britain's leading independent cruise line. And Brilliant. we're just growing at an alarming rate. It's absolutely fantastic. It's and, really and exciting. And for anyone that hasn't cruised with you, what, what's the general feel like? And it's very much a British style, very relaxed, very leisurely type of cruise with a home from home style of ambience. For our passengers, we have a huge number of repeat passengers. When they go on board, they feel like they're going home. The crew know them, they make friends, there's this, this lovely camaraderie on board our ships and that's what people go back yeah. for, they really love it, and it's quite I, special. We were talking just an eye earlier and, and we, we, we kind of um, looked at the single price and, I, and we thought wow that is because we get loads of mm. yeah. single ladies and gents asking for great deals and you haven't just got a few cabins available, you, you've got... No, on this <laughs> ship that we're going to talk about tonight which is Magellan we actually have 150 cabins, they're double cabins but we set them aside for single occupancy. That, so you get a double cabin? Yeah, normal sized cabin, lovely, good sized oh, double wow. cabin, but just for, for our solo travellers. I'm almost tempted just to book <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just in case, yeah. Absolutely. But this, this is, is actually amazing. the ship as well really that gets. my um, my in-laws, it's their first ever cruise and they went on there. Really? And bear in mind, my, my, my father-in-law, he's got a military background and he was in catering, so you can imagine straight away, he doesn't like the formalities, he's really relaxed. He's always in shorts and t-shirt, even in the middle of the winter, he's in his shorts and t-shirt shirts and his flip-flops and when he went on board he said it was absolutely brilliant the staff again food wise yeah. he was impressed with the food and to impress him with food wow. then that's that's saying something um, and absolutely. something we, we, we won't forget about 
the drinks packages because they have incredible. Oh, so yes. I thought a bit late. We will, today. we yes. will. We like the drinks packages. We, well, we certainly do. I just don't want to look too keen. That's all. <laughs> so anyway, let's take you on board. We'll get Moira to talk you through. So have a look at this. So as I said, Magellan is very much about home from home style of ambience. She's got those single cabins and we really do look, look after our solo guests. But of course, it's not just for solos. We have a huge number of couples that travel with us and a great number of repeat guests. We've got two main restaurants. You'll see one of them here, the the Waldorf, serving very traditional British style of cuisine. We've invested quite a lot of money into our cuisine over the last couple of years. It really is fabulous. Then we also have speciality dining on board Magellan. We've just launched our signature fusion restaurant, mm. which is a traditional tandoori. It's got its own tandoori oven on board as well. So fabulous for speciality dining. And of course, no British cruise line would be complete without a British style pub, which of course we have, and a very good cup of British tea. And we work oh, with Wittards of which Chelsea. Is, I was just very say, yeah. teas. Though we do use Dow Egberts for our coffee, but we'll, we'll let that one go. Oh, so you are guaranteed <laughs> a very good cup of tea and coffee on board. More loves a name drop. <laughs> I do, I do. Fabulous spa facilities, so great opportunity to go and be pampered. But another lovely thing about this ship is everything is quite well contained because the ship only takes 1,250 guests. She's 46,000 tons. She's not too big, she's not too small. She's got a nice range of sort of entertainment venues from the main theatre. And whether you want to dance the night away in something like Captain's Club to the early hours of the morning, or maybe you just want a cocktail and conversation lounge in Sinatra's, it really has got something for everyone. I'm really impressed with the ship. Yeah, she's really she really is, isn't really she? Really this is the great right. thing that, you know, they are smaller ships, so you don't get that lost feel, because sometimes, no, you, you know, with, with a lot of passengers, it depends on what you want. This, really nice and cosy, you get to know people. Uh, for singles as well, there's a great sort of entertainment yes. uh, program. The, the, you know, right. the hosts on boards make you feel welcome. Yes. So you're right. not travelling alone. So they're like dancing hosts and things like we that. We don't have dance hosts specifically, but we have social hosts that make sure the singles sort of meet and mingle. Right. We sit them together at dinner. They've even got the opportunity of getting together to go ashore together, which when you're travelling on your own can be a little bit daunting. So there's lots of things we do on board for our single guests. I think that's really good. And I, I think really that's why don't. we're so popular yeah. for singles as well. So um, really but good. although there are 150 cabins, they will go fast. And this, really this fast. cruise has just gone on sale. Just huh? last Week, so it's yeah. almost hot off the press. It's selling incredibly I well bet. for us. It is one of our sort of key destinations, very popular for cruise and maritime guests. Well, we better have a little look we at better, where we could see because all the key destinations are here for the fuel. Uh, well, really well some beautiful. of the best, and we'll come to the highlight in a couple of seconds. But for your first day, it's uh, is it sea, uh, so you can relax and enjoy the ship, and then you're into Edfjord. Now, Edfjord, absolutely stunning waterfall that's actually here, so great uh, photo opportunities and some great excursions as well to one of the local dams. Um, so, yeah, you've got, to, you've got to go to these waterfalls. They're absolutely epic. But this is the next port, which is the highlight of majority of, of the, the Norwegian cruises. Definitely. This is the one, Flom. Now, this is all about the train ride. This you have to book up. Please book it in advance, and we can do that for you when you book. So ask your cruise specialist tonight when you call. Um, this is a 12-mile route. Doesn't sound that long, does it? But boy, is it breathtaking when you get to the top. You've got 20 mountain tunnels, 3,000 feet that you actually climb. Um, you can actually pick up the train at, at the bottom in the summer, but bear in mind, during the summer, it's the busiest time. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll leave it till we get there, you'll no, miss no. out. And this is the highlight. You've got to book it for that. Um, then we're off to Grangerfjord, and you're going to be cruising there and also docking. And this is one of the great things, that you've got the Seven Sisters water, waterfalls, you've got the Bridal Veil waterfalls as well. Um, it's absolutely stunning. And Norway, a lot of people think it's going to be cold. It's not. At night time, yes, but in the daytime, beautifully sunny, beautifully gorgeous. Good, so when I, I've been there twice and it's been, got some amazing weather sometimes. It can be lovely. Yeah. Quite similar to spring weather here. Yeah. Really pretty. And really fresh, mm. you know. Also, I tell you what, one thing I'd love to do, get off in Grangerfjord and head up the Eagle uh, route. It's like the Route 66 of Norway. <laughs> and you can go up there, all these beautiful hairpin turns, and you can get to the top. It's just an absolutely stunning view. So definitely look into that. Uh, last port, of call is Bergen. Uh, one of my favourites. Oh, I just nice. love... I love the feel, the style there, all the restaurants, they're so multicultural, 
Um, it does tend to be a little bit expensive in Bergen and in Norway in general, but that's great because you've got your cruise ship that you're going in and out on, exactly. that all your food is on board, so it's a great way to visit Norway. Um, but uh, go, head up into the, um, the mountains, go to the Vinicola Railway, um, you can see the lights just up in the background Wonderful there, and there's the, uh, oh, stunning. stunning, absolutely and, beautiful. And then a final dead sea, and then back to Tilbury. Let's yeah. just, can we just look at this beautiful ship one final time, Moira? Uh, we certainly can. Here I she love is. Lovely As I say, she's, she is, as I said, incredibly friendly. She is considered one of the friendliest ships afloat, and that's what people go back time and time again for, is just that intimacy, great facilities, and all on, on quite a, a nice size. So, good choice of restaurants, good choice of special. I think she's amazing. And I mean, very look at much the ship. a leisurely style of cruise. So look at the ship and then look at the price, 475. Amazing. It's incredible value for money. It really um, is. Now we're going to share what's included, but we will talk about those drinks packages before we run out of time. So um, <laughs> no, it works out an incredible under £69 per person per night. Uh, that single, they will go very quickly. Um, amazing. And you, you're not getting a single size cabin. You're getting the same cabin that two people would share. Sorry of that single Double price. Cabin. I think it's lovely that you do that because a lot of cruise companies don't offer that kind of value. Um, <laughs> the, the, it's a no-fly cruise from Tilbury and the itineraries differ depending on the departure day. Now, we've just got time to, to <laughs> run through the prices. We price. haven't got time, but you want we have. <laughs> we'll run through the prices and I'm going to ask more about the drinks package, I promise you. Uh, so these are the prices. Um, so that single starts at just 749 and uh, not much more on, uh, on that lead date for the outside as well. In fact, the September price is really good as well, really good. Right, we are nearly out of time, but yes, Moira. really quick. You told me about the drinks package yes. earlier. My ears, they, they did prick up. Really good value, aren't they? They are really good value, which is what Cruising Maritime is so well known for. So, our main drinks package, the most popular one, only starts at £23 per person per night, but that includes gratuities. I mean, that's really, it includes which is gratuities, incredible. really good. Yeah. Really good value. If you want to step up on that and maybe you like the sort of branded drinks and you like your specialty teas and coffees, for just £29 per person per night you can have pretty much everything included. Right. And your gratuities. And your gratuities as well. Right. So it is incredible and value. I, and I mean, I mean, my mum's watching tonight. Hello mum and Terry watching tonight. <laughs> I'm really tempted on this one for my mum. Um, We'd have to have single cabins, wouldn't we? <laughs> There's plenty, you'll be fine. No, I was going to say, but uh, she likes a single cabin. There's only 148 of them left. Um, but she's never been to the floor. Anyway, Margaret, I'm really sorry, we are out of time. No problem at We're all. over time, but, I know. but it's been great, seriously. Lovely Thank to see you. Thank you so you. much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank and we'll see you, you soon, hopefully. We'll see you soon, definitely. Very impressed with that one. Anyway, getting told off a bit behind. So anyway, we better move on. And uh, our next cruise is... Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, now just come in. No, Morris, we've nearly forgotten. This one. It's just come in, hasn't it? Oh, the mini cruise. Yes, it's yeah. it's it's coming by via sleigh. Yes. Now we we were talking earlier about Christmas gifts. You could actually book this as a Christmas gift for you, your partner, friends, family, and all you need to do is pay a pound per person deposit tonight. And the prices start at one three now. That's a, a mini cruise two nights for next year, the 9th no. of December. But do, do you know what? And Moira Moy would agree with me on this, being a sophisticated, classy lady that she is. Of course. Christmas, what do you think? Presents. Antwerp, I think diamonds. Diamonds is girls' best friend. <laughs> just, just a suggestion. Just <laughs> I, a suggestion. I, 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 yeah, I think you're along the right lines there. Anyway, that's just coming <laughs> in. Great Christmas gift. Uh, do give us a call for that one right now. But we're going to move on to our, our next deal. That's a great idea for a Christmas gift, don't you think? Uh, and this is on board the Norwegian Epic. Now, I've cruised the Norwegian cruise lines a few times, loved them. This is a ship that I've always wanted to go on board. But someone beat me to it. Have a look at this. If your idea of a cruise is dim lighting, string quartets, tuxedos and ballroom dancing, then prepare to be challenged. Because this cruise line is so laid back, it's almost horizontal. Welcome to the most fun and relaxed cruise experience you're ever likely to encounter, where the entertainment never stops and the excitement just keeps on building. Welcome to freestyle cruising. Welcome to Norwegian Cruise Line. There's more restaurants than days of the week, and you can enjoy food from all over the world and dine and dress as you please. From trendy French bistros to steakhouses and sushi bars, Norwegian Cruise Line offers tons of choice. If you're a vegan, vegetarian, high carb, low carb, or gluten free, it's all covered. Remember, this is freestyle cruising. So, whatever your mood and whatever the occasion, there'll be a bar that fits the bill with sports bars and whiskey bars, martini bars, and champagne bars. Our fresh 
disco bars and wine bars. Bars with music and bars with sport. Even ice bars. One thing's for sure, you definitely won't go thirsty. Imagine playing Nintendo Wii on a two-storey high screen, or challenging a friend on the all-new Aqua Racer. Visualise eating world-class cuisine while acrobats tumble down on silks around your table. Or simply enjoying a beer as comedians make you smile with dedicated comedy clubs. Picture yourself singing along as dueling pianos compete or settling into your own seat for one of the Tony award-winning shows. Whether you're a single cruiser, holidaying with all the family or planning a group cruise, you'll find something perfect for you. Norwegian Cruise Line offers one of the widest selections of accommodation in the industry. There are exclusive suites where you have your own private sun deck along with brilliant interjoining family staterooms that are cleverly located near all the kids' facilities. And balcony staterooms where you wake up to a different view every morning. But it's in the studio staterooms where Norwegian are head and shoulders above the competition. Oh, thank you to Keith there. Lo lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. And, and great again for single travellers as well. So, um, And we'll, we'll talk about them later, but you mentioned about regional flights. This has some great regional flights included, doesn't it? Yeah, London, Manchester and Glasgow. Glasgow. Brilliant. So uh, flights, you know, for, for most of the country there. Anyway, let's have a little look at where we're going to be cruising to. So we're flying from the UK to Barcelona. Yep. Um, this, this is an absolute classic itinerary because, I mean, Barcelona, um, actually just looking at flights, how much would flights cost you to Barcelona? I'm telling you now, on certain dates they can be very yeah. expensive, um, especially from Manchester because uh, the mother-in-law's yeah, mother been looking at uh, going out to, uh, to Barcelona. I hope she's not watching tonight. Um, she'll be like, don't tell everybody. Um, but, uh, yeah, they can be quite expensive. But your first day is a day at sea, and what a beautiful day it will be, cruising past Corsica uh, and Sardinia, and then on to Naples. There is a hustle and a bustle that's in this city. It is literally Vespers and Lambrettas just beeping, and the reason being is this is the birthplace of the proper Italian coffee house. There's some great Italian coffee houses here. Allegedly, it's the birthplace of the pizza as well. There's about five different restaurants that reckon that they, they're the first <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, I'm sure. But, you know, it is just great. It is hustle and bustle. But go out a little bit further. You've got the Amalfi Coast. You've got Pompeii. You've got Mount Vesuvius. You've got Capri. I mean, there's nothing more glamorous. You just think of the, the, the sort of heydays of the 50s and the 60s of the silver screen of Hollywood. Everybody went to Capri. Yeah, of course it was, just, it was just absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, then we're off to one of the biggest ports on this itinerary. It's the port of Civitavecchia for Rome. Now, I'd highly recommend ask your cruise specialist what tours are available. You can do it on your own. But bear in mind, you're relying on public transport. You go and see the Vatican City, the Trevi Fountain, the Colosseum, St. Peter's Basilica, um, the Roman Forum, Spanish Steps, all of these great historic sites in one day. Um, and definitely the Colosseum. And top tip, when you actually get into the Vatican City, and if you want to go and see the, the Sistine Chapel, um, just just there's so much to see just go straight there and spend the time because for somebody who's uh, this is a surprise you i really did have a, a moment in the sistine chapel it's beautiful such an iconic place and you see it's yeah Jeff still not been yeah it's called a scene but i've been out of time and like, see this yeah. is the thing exactly go straight to the sistine chapel and do it because you, you will you will regret it you will regret it then we're off to florence and pisa another big tour day again ask your crew specialist what tours are available because you're docking in the port of livorno great shopping uh, and great city center some good restaurants here but head on into florence Go to the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, some great jewellery around here. Again, if you want to do something historic, you can go see the Statue of David. There are several Davids around. Um, there you go. There you go. There's one of them. Here's another. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you've got to do Pisa as well. Got to do the Leaning Tower. Um, and it is really worth doing it. Oh, because, it is. And you've got to stand there and yeah. get the, the photo. I, I got the photo. You've got to have do you? it. Yeah, yeah, you've got to do it. Haven't you? She, I know everybody says that they got the best photo, but seriously, the yeah. other half, we took a photo of her and she looks like a giant. <laughs> There's a guy that's walking by behind, and it's just perfect depth of field. It's just it's crazy. Anyway, um, then, to just top it off, how about we just pop to Cannes? 
you know, as you do. Uh, now, bear in mind, obviously, the film festival's in May, so you're not going to be hitting it then, but you have got the glamour. You have got those wonderful facilities, you know. Expect to pay a little bit more on beaches like that, but enjoy it. You're on a cruise. You're on your holiday. Actually, we have, uh, we have got some uh, May dates, actually, haven't we? Uh, yeah, we yeah, have, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we have, have got, got yeah, so you yeah. might be there might. for the film festival. Might. You never know you're going to see. Never. I actually flew out of Nice Airport and um, a certain star from a Bourne movie was there. Oh, really? Matt Damon. Really? And his baseball cap on. I was, like, I was, I was nudging my colleague. Wow, I was going, there you go. It's Matt Damon. They're going, what? Matt Damon? I was like, yeah, <laughs> Matt Damon. Anyway, um, then we're off to Mallorca. We're going to go off to Palma. And a lovely way to finish off, because this is, this is what I class as an easy port, because you can dip your toe in and do as little or as much as you want, because you've got the marinas, you've got the beaches, or you can do the full experience. It, it really is a fantastic way to, to finish it and, all off. And then, of course, disembarking in Barcelona and yeah. your return flight back to the UK. By the way, if you, there is an opportunity, if you want to stay in Barcelona, oh, yes. a two-night stay for just £149 per person... Hello, I know how expensive it is in Barcelona. Nice. That is great value for two nights. And you could uh, do that presumably pre or post cruise, couldn't yes. you? Uh, now, return flights, they are free, uh, and that is from your choice of London, Manchester, or Glasgow. So, no, um, no supplements for those three airports. Now, I forgot to mention it, very unlike me, but it is premium all inclusive. So that means you've got drinks, tips, and Wi-Fi all included. Just to just mention the Barcelona um, hotel stay there, and a great single special. You've got lovely studios on board with uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. Prices starting from one two nine nine. Now, date-wise, we have got a really good selection of dates. So we've got May all the way through to November. There, we've got mini suites. We've got great single prices, but um, something for absolutely everybody. And. Um, now, the premium drinks, I'm getting a bad reputation out of this, but they are really good with Norwegian Cruise Line. So, again, you get a massive selection of premium branded beverages. You were looking at some oh, of those, Justin, weren't well, you? Just the beers and ciders. You know, we're talking Grolsch's, Boddington's, Newcastle Brown Ale, Strombo, Red Stripe. But then you look at the gin and vodka, Absolute, uh, Beef Eater, Bombay Sapphire, Bacardi, Bacardi Limon, Oak Heart, Ro uh, Rock, Coconut, Raspberry, oh, Raspberry Bacardi. Hey, Bacardi Raspberry, gotta love that. There's a lot um, on there. Captain Morgan's, and then when you go on, Hendrix, oh. Smirnoff, um, uh, your Malibu's, all, all, of the, all of them are in there, and, and, and I haven't even oh, mentioned right. half that's the list. A, that's enough, just a lot. You sure? I've got, yeah, I've that's got enough, 101. That's enough. That's enough. I've got 101, no. The crew, are getting, the crew are getting thirsty, and you've got all your coffees included. Service Makers charges. Mark, Knob Creek, Jim that's Bean, enough. Jack Daniels, <laughs> Hennessy, Harvey's. <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman Jack, Fiebel Cinnamon. But the crib just left and gone to the bar now. Uh, and then you've got Wi-Fi included. Great entertainment, but honestly, it is brilliant to get that premium all-inclusive. And that uh, value-added um, there is worth more than 1,200 per stateroom. So it's really, really good to get that included. Anyway, I'm <laughs> serious. Yeah, right. the, the, drinks, the, the drinks list that I've got on here is absolutely yeah, you, unbelievable. You, you're not helping Justin now, is he? Literally, the list there is crazy. Anyway. Just have a sip of my water. Uh, right, what's coming up next? Ah, celebrity. Celebrity. This, now, I know, we've been building ah. up to this. You're a big fan of celebrity. We've got big news as well because not only have they just released their latest ship, Edge, but also we've got a little bit of cruise news coming up at the end of this. Yes. Um, we've, 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 got, uh, we've got a sister ship coming up as well. Anyway. But why a celebrity multi-award winning? We'll have a look at this and... We'll talk you through. Whenever I see a clip of film featuring any of the celebrity ships, I instantly feel at home. And we, we promise you that the standard of the ships, I mean, we talk about five-star modern, modern luxury. luxury yeah. um, food, service, entertainment, cutting edge, really is. I mean, their entertainment is, is honestly, for me, the best at sea. Wonderful. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the thing is, because they've brought out Edge, and, and we, we'll, we'll reveal something at the end of this as well, the, the problem is, you, you look... and. When you see the Solstice class ships like this, you're still amazed. You're like, wow. Yeah. That is just brilliant because the Solstice class was the first to have the, the um, um, uh, real grass on top of the. the, the yeah, the, and it's, it's real grass, honestly, it is, and it looks immaculate. Far better than my lawn, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, and yours is that fake stuff. <laughs> it's not. Uh, anyway. Um, a, a wonderful part of the world that you're going to be cruising to as well. Now, again, we, we cruise out of Southampton, so really easy. Means you can take as much luggage as you like. Uh, first day is at sea, and, and I love that because you really get to settle into the ship. You get to explore. 
but we're making our way over to, is it uh, Copenhagen for us? Yeah, before? Copenhagen. I mean, you've got an overnight here. There's two overnights oh, yes. yeah. here and St. Petersburg. In Copenhagen, just do the shopping in the day, do the lovely bars along the, the road there. Just down from the ships, you can go and see the Little Mermaid with the uh, Hans Christian Andersen Association. But in the evening, you've got to go to Tivoli Gardens. I don't care. It is one of the best amusement parks. One of the oldest as well. They've got a galleon ship. They've got the Chinese pagoda there. They've got uh, an exhibition of maritime history. Tivoli Gardens is the place to go. Fact, you've got to go there. Um, after that, you've got a relaxing day at sea, and then into Tallinn in Estonia. Now, Estonia, as soon as you get off the ship and you get dropped in the, the main town itself, there's a lovely flower market. They've got the um, uh, palaces there as well. Um, go up to the top um, of the town. It's a little bit of a walk up there to the church, but well worth the walk. Antique shops, crystal shops, lakes, absolutely stunning. There's the little flower market. It's, I, it's a lot yeah. bigger than that on the left. That's like <laughs> one exactly. storm. There's about 15. <laughs> um, but the, um, the town hall is absolutely beautiful. Um, just go and people watch there. It's, it's, it's absolutely stunning. But then you just build it up because you look at that building and you think, oh, that reminds you of Russia. You see the, the lovely architecture they have? That's where we go. We're going to St. Petersburg. And we're not going there for a day. We're staying overnight. And this is one of the greatest things. In the day, you've got to do the Hermitage, or, well, what you can. Go to the Church of Spilt Blood, go to some of the markets, get the old uh, Russian submarine hats, you know, the classic ones, the furry ones. But in the evening, and this, a lot of people laugh at me, they're like, really? You, at the ballet, you've got to go to the ballet. Absolutely wonderful. And there's usually a package that you can go. You have a glass of champagne out on the balcony. Go and see the, go and see the ballet. I the last time I went, full orchestra. Full, oh. and a, a proper, real orchestra, not like clip tracks or you know backing groups and anything I, like I that. I would love it. I know I would. I mean, it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, oh, isn't you, it? You got it. I, felt, I thought I was James Bond. I probably look more like Brook Bond, but um, <laughs> other teas are available. Um, anyway, then we're going to come out of St. Petersburg, and then we're going to go to Finland. The one thing you need to learn here, kippis. Kippis, that's cheers in Finnish. Ah. Work with a Finnish guy. In fact, two Finnish, guy, um, uh, two Finnish guys. Um, absolutely great architecture here, great shopping, and the fortress is definitely worth a look as well. Brilliant day there. Um, then Stockholm as well. Um, Stockholm, absolutely beautiful. It's the capital of, of Scandinavia. It really is the gateway to this area. Um, a Viking stronghold um, many years ago, so there's lots of history here. Great museum and um, re really worth going out on that day. Relax and at sea, and then we're into Berlin, or the port of Warnemunde. Now, Warnemunde is a, is, is a real lovely seaside resort, and this is the type of place where they go swimming every day of the year. Every day of the year. Um, yeah, even in the winter. I mean, you imagine freezing cover, they still do it, don't yeah, they? Yeah, you can go on into Berlin. Of course, you can go to Checkpoint Charlie, get your passport, uh, passport stamp there as well. Um, but I'd actually stay in Warnemunde. Warnemunde is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't been into Berlin before, it's worth the journey. Two relaxing days at sea, and then back into Southampton. Um, now, we've got a pound per person deposit on this uh, as well, by the way. But look at this, a free classics drinks package. Free cla oh, let me get my teeth, that's like a bit on it, yeah. A free classic drinks package, and that's on an Ocean View above. I love it when we have that deal. Uh, half price gratuities as well when booking Ocean View or above. But very important, it's uh, your last chance to get the Black Friday offer. Now, you will get an extra £50 off per booking for the prices shown, but that ends on the 30th of November. We've got a free ocean view to Balkan upgrade on selected dates, and um, the item is they differ slightly just depending on departure dates. So loads of extras out, and just to show the prices, uh, now, if you missed the beginning of the show, Justin, you said that um, if anyone books a cruise type that's £1,599 per person or more, you get £100, 100 pounds Yeah, up. yeah. But that's only for... That's, that's only until the end of the week. Wow. The end of week. So make sure, give us a call now. And bear in mind, it's not just on the celebrity deal, but on all of the so, deals that are available, if you're spending over £1,599. So it is worth going for, like, maybe the ocean with the balcony, you get extra money off, so you get, for two people, £200 off. Yeah. And the, the £50 from celebrity. 
and you've got all the drinks packaged and things. Anyway, ask the call centre for details, but you will get, you'll save more by spending more tonight for part of the Black Friday event. Talking of drinks packages. Oh, yes, I'll let you do this one. <laughs> I'm um, getting a bad reputation just then. No, no, seriously, classic drinks packages. You get all your specialty teas and coffee, selected beers, wines and spirits, and you also get discounts on uh, wines by the bottle. Mm. So, you know, if you do like a particular wine and you're going to have it with dinner, why well, have a couple of glasses when you have the bottle? Um, and, of course, don't forget there's so much available with celebrity, Aqua Class, the Persian oh, Gardens, yeah. the Spa, um, all of those are definitely worth it because you get access to places like Blue, brilliant food in Blue. Oh, yeah, it is honestly, it's, it is my favourite restaurant on board. Uh, <laughs> it is worth. It's one really, of your favourites. So, <laughs> so it is worth going for that Aqua Class. But anyway, just give us a call tonight. That is an amazing deal from Celebrity, of course, one of my absolute favourites. Um, Should we head off to you now? Where should we go next? Well, I, I think we should reveal oh. the cruise news, don't you? Yes, the cruise news. Yeah. How can I forget that? Um, we've got footage right now of the Celebrity Edge. Now, I've not booked my cruise on here yet. Yeah. But she's launching in yeah. literally a few days. She's, she's actually in Southampton. I've seen a few images on board, and I haven't been lucky enough to go down. But oh. I'm telling you now, the rooftop gardens, remember when it was all the beautiful lights yeah. and the musicians up there, and the chandelier well, I in tell the you, centerpiece. I, I tell you what, I Take want to look. see. Have a look at this. Coming in. This is the home stretch. Here we go. What a day. This moment means a lot to me personally, but it also means a lot to the men and women that I work with. Woohoo! It's a big time for celebrity. It's the first ship that we've had in a very long time. It's like all first times, it's unforgettable. But it's a great moment, and for me as well, and for my amazing crew. I can't describe how it felt riding in this morning. I really can't. It was almost surreal. I couldn't believe it was finally here where we were actually pulling into Port Everglades and into this fabulous new terminal built especially for us. So, Lisa, you're happy this morning, so I hope we deliver. It was a glorious morning. The weather cooperated. I've seen photos with rainbows. It's just... It's a magical day, and then being able to cut this ribbon here today is something we've been waiting for for a very long time. Our ambition from the very beginning was to design and build a terminal that really reflected the design of Celebrity Edge, and to be a new benchmark for cruise terminals, especially here in Port Everglades. Well, Celebrity has really been on a roll, and this is the next step in that wonderful evolution and to see the culmination of this step. It's a beauty to watch. As you look at this ship, it is really a manifestation of everything we've worked for years to create. And so you have to take everything you know and everything that the future is telling you and put it all together in a way that's really powerful. And I think that's what we did with Celebrity Edge. Now, look at this. Yeah, sister, sister ship. ship. Yeah, sister ship. Hey, sister. Um, Celebrity Apex. So the same great facilities with the magic carpet, the rooftop gardens. Um, don't miss out on it. So if you were one of those people like you, because I know what you're like, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> You're like, oh, shall I, shan't I, shall I? If you missed out on the maiden season or, you know, the maiden voyage of Edge, get on Apex now. The only reason I missed out was I was moving house. I just oh, didn't know. No, it's true. Things. Well, now you need a cruise to recover from I, it I anyway. I do. Um, but, yes, massive celebrity news. I was just reading some of the reviews um, on the Edge. Yeah. They're, they're incredible. Yeah. yeah. So she's just launched. So amazing reviews. But we've, uh, we've still got a few cheeky deals to sneak in and this one is brilliant celestial cruises 
all inclusive. Yeah, and it's. I mean, Celestial is definitely one of the best selling cruises or cruise lines that we well, certainly have on a I, Tuesday night. I tell you what, let's get you straight on board and we'll talk through. So, all included that's tips, that's your drinks, and even excursions as well. And the best price I think we've ever seen that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it's a really, this is a brand new itinerary. I've, I, I, I look back through all of my notes for the last two years and I couldn't find a time that we went into Istanbul. It must be two years. It must be two years. To go to the Hagia Sophia. Go and see where the Bond films have been uh, have been filmed. Go to the Blue Mosque. Go, uh, literally, you're sailing on the banks of the Bosphorus. Um, so, uh, you know, Florence Nightingale, that's where she was, on the banks of the of Bosphorus. Course. Um, fantastic for, you know, all of your um, uh, grand bazaars. Go and get a suit made. The tailor's there. 4,000 stalls. Um, but also to see places like Santorini and to have tours included. And honestly, the value is ridiculous yeah. um, with Celestial. And every time we feature them, they are one of the top sellers now on the show. The lead date on this, by the way, is next year, the 25th of November. But just to repeat, that's all your, your drinks, your tips, and uh, ex selected excursions as well. But let's show you where you're going to be cruising, because it's a lovely item, as you say, very venue for us here. Yeah, you, you start off in Athens, in the Port of Piraeus, and then you're heading into Istanbul. So get up early. Just, just please, you've got to, because you'll actually see, um, uh, just up on the banks, you'll see the wonderful skyline, you'll see where Florence Nightingale was, uh, you'll see the Hagia Sophia, you'll see the Grand Mosque, you'll see the Grand Bazaar. It is just one of those places. I, I loved it there. I really yeah, did. And you, you're it. here overnight as well. So that's one of the great oh, things. Oh, that is good, so yeah. straight away, and if my auntie Diane and Uncle Mick are watching, they love them lanterns. <laughs> They're still looking for one. Anyway, <laughs> that, now we're off to Turkey, and uh, we're going into the port of Çanakkale. Now, this is the historic site of Troy. So you remember the story, yeah, the famous uh, yeah. op? Exactly. So here, I mean, this, this dates back to the 1800s. It's actually a, a, a British and a German... Um, uh, archaeologist that found it. So go to the city. This isn't the original one, but this gives you an idea uh, of the Trojan horse. Um, and go and see. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So absolutely stunning. Then we're into Volos. Um, head out into the mountain villages. They are absolutely beautiful. There's the Pelion houses that are up there that are absolutely stunning. And about 300 um, metres from the actual port itself, there's lovely little markets where you can get these souvenirs. Um, and you can get your uh, local arts and handicrafts as well. There's a good archaeological museum there as well. Then we're into Heraklion. Now, again, this is where you get a tour included. So you can go, this is where the mythical Minotaur um, was, was alleged to have been. So you can go to the, the Palace of Knossos. Um, and uh, do you realise this place is actually sold um, from the, by the Crusaders to the Venetians um, for a thousand silver coins? Hey, what a bargain. What a bargain. Was a good bargain, wasn't it? Hey, yeah. I'd have been on on that one. Um, but uh, that gives you some sort of an idea of the history there. Uh, final day is actually Santorini and Mykonos. So you get chance to go into Santorini. You get chance to go into Mykonos as well, the famous windmills. Um, so absolutely beautiful. And then back into Athens. Uh, where you uh, disembarked us and you have transferred uh, to the airport and fly back to London. So let's just show you what is included here. Um, so... It's an all-inclusive cruise, uh, so that's all your drinks and your tips as well. Free shore excursions, um, three of those. Yeah, they're really good ones as well. Uh, now we have got, and this is really important, exclusive Black Friday discounts. Now they're only valid until the 29th of November, so you've not got much time to get those amazing discounts at all now. Uh, reductions, we include those in the price show. Return flights from London, now transfers are not included, but we can have those, of course, as well. And the price, um, I think that is definitely, the, you know, it's, it's unbelievable actually, starting yeah. at just 899 on that lead date there. But to be fair, whatever date you go for there, there's not a lot between them, is there? No, but I would, I would recommend booking early because they are smaller ships, so the cabins do go, yeah. quicker, uh, go, go quicker. And you've probably noticed at home, the single prices are incredible. Again, they do sell very, very quickly yeah. and uh, they are starting at just 949. And um, more drinks now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it is lovely, you know, the price on the screen, to think that 899 that does include everything. So you selected spirits, beers, cocktails, uh, non-alcoholic cocktails as well, your uh, sodas, your iced tea juices, and a wide range of hot beverages as well. I love my coffees, so that includes your espressos and cappuccinos as well. But we have one final cruise. And what a way to finish. How do you fancy going out to Singapore, having a tour included, 
and then cruising around some of the best parts of Thailand. Are you in? Um, I'm definitely in. Done. Yeah, Let's definitely go. in. <laughs> uh, but we're going to start, as Justin said, with a three-night stay in a four-star hotel in Singapore. Now, I've been to Singapore already, but I only got a day there. Oh, and I felt really it. cheated, you know. Well, I... you got the Marina Bay Sands, and certainly we've got to go to Raffles and go to the Long Bar, have some uh, some of those monkey nuts and just crush them. You literally you can throw them on the floor, it's tradition, um, and you can go and have one of the famous Singapore slings. Now, what about this? I'd love to visit. Yeah, the well, Gardens, Gardens by, by the Bay. Bay, daytime or evening, it's absolutely beautiful. These are actually concrete structures um, and they've then allowed these beautiful gardens to grow up through there, but then they've got LED lights. Um, you've got the beautiful view of the Marina Bay Sands in the background, so that's a hotel that you can go and visit, go to the top there. Um, and if you do love your um, uh, horticulture, then you'll absolutely love that. But yeah, the tour, Gardens by the Bay, included with this cruise. But yeah, I mean, Singapore, there is yeah. so much to do. And the you say a four-star hotel, I've had some of the best service and the best hotels in Singapore. That in itself, there's value there. Anyway, from Singapore, once you've um, uh, embarked onto your beautiful ship, the Sapphire Princess. You've got a um, seven-night cruise, haven't yeah. you? But let's give you a little taster of what life is going to be like on board with Jade. Regardless of which Princess Cruises ship you get on, you'll find yourself with a host of dining, entertainment and relaxation options to suit your needs. Whether you prefer the traditions of set time dining or you prefer to pick when, where and who you eat with, the option is yours on board a Princess ship. Princess Cruises have always taken speciality dining to the next level, from the sumptuous steaks and the Crown Grill through to the incredible Italian flavours of Sabatini's. The first of two new offerings is Steamer's Seafood, where you can feast on amazing shellfish, all accompanied by generous sides and dipping sauces. The second new taste sensation is Planks, serving up American-style barbecue options on planks, loaded with four meats, chilli, coleslaw and fries, Oh, and some really incredible looking desserts. Princess Cruises love looking after the whole family during your cruise. Camp Discovery offers three different age categories and areas, all themed in collaboration with the Discovery Channel. Children aged 3 to 17 will have everything they need to keep them amused for hours at a time. Whichever Princess Cruises ship you go on, you are sure to find something entertaining happening. From the street performers in the piazza through to the full Broadway style productions in the Princess Theatre. But this is Princess, so we can't talk about entertainment without mentioning the movies under the stars up here on deck. Whichever stateroom you pick, you'll get comfortable beds, a flat screen TV, mini bar and bathroom with shower. If you're looking for a bit of extra outside space, then an upgrade to a balcony is a must. For that touch of luxury though, suites are the perfect option, offering you extra space and amenities in your room and complimentary access to the Lotus Spa Thermal Suite, amongst other exclusive benefits. Well, Princess, amazing. I've been very lucky to cruise, them, and they are incredible in the standards and what they offer. But the itinerary here, well, we, we're going to talk to you because you're going to get to see some beautiful places, aren't you? Yeah, to, to be fair, we haven't actually got the time this evening to do it justice, so I'll just give you the highlights. Koh Samui, one of the best resorts uh, in Thailand, and just heaven. Next up, in complete contrast, Bangkok. <laughs> the hustle, the bustle, the hot, sweaty, slurpy markets of noodles and just amazing, amazing dishes, crazy nightclubs, and then on top of it, great temples. You've got the juxtaposition there. It is absolutely amazing. After that, you've got a relaxing day at sea because you're going to need it after Bangkok, and you're into Ho Chi Minh City or Pumi. Now, this is uh, formerly known as Saigon. It is the capital of the bicycle. You've got beautiful beautiful architecture here, places like the Notre Dame Square um, and the Sea Goddess Shrine as well. Um, also plenty of historical stuff, there's 124 miles of underground tunnels that were actually used during the Vietnam War, so there's, there's lots for everybody to see and do. Relaxing day at sea and then you're back into Singapore and that wraps up um, just a wonderful, wonderful cruise. The fact that you get to stay in Singapore for three nights and then you get some of the best places Bangkok and Koh Samui, I'm in. And, and again, look at the value when you work out the, the flights, uh, the five plus three night hotel stay, the cruise itself. I think absolutely phenomenal. And tonight. the tour as well. Yeah, of course, and the, the tour, tour as well. Yeah. Bay. So this is what's included. Quick recap: so you do get the three nights, as I mentioned, in the four star hotel in Singapore, the Gardens by the Bay tour, a seven night cruise that would be beautiful with, uh, of course, Princess Cruises and the Sapphire Princess, and all of you turn flights plus your overseas transfers as well. And the prices, we have got a, a couple of dates for you there. 
for uh, 2020 on the yeah. 22nd of January or the 19th of February there as well. The mini suites, when I was princess, I, I booked a mini suite and you get so much more room. And I've got to say, the price there is not that much more, is it? Him. Mini suites. Do mini you know, suites. I've done it all there. I've never been disappointed, seriously. I was going to say, well, if you're going to do it, you've got to, yeah, got to do it's it properly. No, it's a really nice big room there. Uh, anyway, we also have, talking of mini suites, we also have some little mini deals for you. Oh, and love what you did I say, <laughs> now, I say mini deals, they're actually amazing, these, but the prices will go up at midnight tonight. So the first one is a seven-night, it's a bank holiday, Spain and France from Southampton, on board Princess, and that's on the 25th of May, and that starts at just five, seven, nine. We've got a pound deposit on that one as well. And that, that Canary's one looks good, doesn't it? Well, Canary is always great sunshine yeah. there. Again, another pound deposit, and I said Planet Cruise exclusive on that one. That is just superb. And that's, uh, so that's starting at eight, seven, nine. But those prices go up at midnight tonight. So if you're watching the show online, those prices may well have gone up. But if you're watching it live right now, you can still get them. Uh, anyway, we... We're always on catch-up. Yeah, <laughs> we are. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to go through. And we... when you think about all of, all of the other little deals as well, where do we start? I forgot well, now. Just before we, we recap, don't forget the uh, Amadeus. Uh, little, um, say, prize draw that we're doing. And all you need to do to register and be part of that is go to the Planet Cruise website, planetcruise.com forward slash EN, and uh, one lucky viewer will win a seven-night river cruise for two along the Rhine. So don't forget to do that. It's only take you a minute or so, and uh, you're in with a chance. But let's recap uh, the amazing deals. We start off with Royal Caribbean, didn't we? It's On board did. the Independence of the Seas, uh, a seven-night spring Hamburg, Oslo, and Bruges from Southampton. Um, now, don't forget, you'll all be entered into a prize draw to win a goodie bag tonight as well if you book this one and we've got deposits starting at just a pound and a lovely I mean if you go with the family a family four price starting at 1799 and then we had Mario with us didn't we yeah the cruise and maritime fantastic price uh, uh, from 69 pounds per person per night and great single special yeah, prices as well really, really Get good. Them, remember there's only 150 cabins on board that are single but they're actually double cabins but single occupancy. Absolutely genius there. No fly cruise from Tilbury, so if you can't fly, you don't like to fly, uh, and itineraries differ on date. Just ask your cruise specialist when you fall. I think a lot of those single cabins will go tonight. Oh, definitely. And one of the best single things, you know, prices we've done for a long, long time. That Then we uh, moved on to Norwegian Cruise Lines. This is uh, on board the fabulous Norwegian Epic, and it's a seven-night Western Med from Barcelona. Now, you actually get free flights tonight, and you can choose London, Manchester, or Glasgow. It's a premium all-inclusive. That means a lot. Drinks, tips, and Wi-Fi. And um, you can actually add on two extra nights in Barcelona, pre- or post-cruise, starting at 149. And a great single special at just 1299. Then we've got one of your favourite cruise lines, Celebrity. Of course, don't forget they've got their new ship out, Edge, and they've just announced Apex as yes. well. Um, so uh, Celebrity Cruise is very much hot in the news right now. But if you're booking Celebrity Night on the Silhouette, you get a free classic drinks package and gratuities on Ocean View and above. Bear in mind, we've got Black Friday, uh, Black, I can't say it, Black Friday offers. Um, uh, so make sure you make the use of those before the end of the week. So uh, itineraries differ depending on the departure date, but just give us a call. And then Celestial Cruises, um, amazing value. Um, first time we've seen this itinerary with them. 899 is that lead price. And so much included, all your drinks, all your tips, your shore excursions, uh, three of those included. Great itinerary. Istanbul overnight. Amazing. Yeah. But again, those discounts finish on the 29th of November. You know, a lot of the deals tonight you do need to be pretty quick on. And then we finished with Princess, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, over to Singapore, three nights in a four-star hotel in Singapore. If you know anything about Singapore, you'll know that that's going to be superb. Also, we're putting in a tour, which is Gardens by the Bay, which is a must-do while you're in Singapore. And then you've got seven nights around Thailand, including an overnight in Bangkok, and also the chance to go to Koh Samui. Um, and don't forget, uh, with every booking tonight, and I think we're going to have a very busy show, a pound will be donated to Portsmouth Hospitals as well. Uh, Justin, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. It's a great show, wasn't it? Yeah.
hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, but, <laughs> <laughs> but something for everybody. Um, and don't forget, fan lines open until 10 o'clock tonight, first thing tomorrow morning as well. But a lot of the discounts do finish the next few days, I say, don't they? Yep. So definitely worth booking sooner or later. Just a new back two weeks I'll is see it? you in a couple of weeks' time. I will see you in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, I will see you uh, next week, 8 o'clock, of course, with Planet Cruise. But uh, if you've never booked a cruise, do it tonight. You won't regret it. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right-hand side. It'll be really informative or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.